So talking about some uh, nostalgia here today, knowing for all of you old timers, knowing like us, knowing you're sporting some gray hair or no hair in Dave's no case, hair. knowing um, <laughs> Creative Labs, there's a name I have not heard or seen in, God, I can't remember how long. So I mean, I they fell off the radar for me. Uh, does bring a tear to my eye when I think about my Sound Blaster 16 or my Auth32 card, putting that in my 46 PC, running, rocking some Windows 95, 98 maybe, and uh, trying some gaming there. Uh, my the ass turbo, runs all day. <laughs> Pushing the turbo. Now, um, brings a tear to my eye. Think about Creative Labs. So, uh, long story short. We we're skimming around the internet today, and CNET brought up an interesting review of a product from Creative Labs, of all places. Uh, very favorable, and we were surprised to see it. So let me bring up the site, and Dave, why don't you jump right in? Yeah, so they were talking about the uh, Creative Labs Pebble and the Pebble X, which, again, back in the day, Sound Blaster, Creative Labs, you, they won't, you didn't know them as Creative, you knew them as Sound Blaster because you had a Sound Blaster card. But these are actually really, really good uh, set of speakers. Of course, you've got to have the RGB lighting on them as well. But they got an 8.3 or 8.6 out of 10 on there. The only con, they gave them a couple cons on it. Um, the main con was uh, you if you didn't get the X, which is a bundle set, um, you couldn't get a subwoofer with them. And there was no uh, app for a Mac. Okay, I don't know if that's a bit of a con anyway, because they were all known in the PC industry, not necessarily the Mac world. Um, but good connectivity. They remind me of some clip speakers. And even I have a set of uh, Logitechs here with the copper cone on them. Uh, to me, I think they're, they're very nice. I don't know if we had to have RGB on them, but I think it looks good. I think it's done pretty subtle. Um, the app is actually pretty decent on it. And I think these are under a hundred dollars to begin with, which is a sweet spot as far as desktop speakers. Um, the X bundle is actually really nice. I think it looks a little bit more uh, stealthy you know, whatever you want to call it. Um, but I think these are actually really, really nice looking speakers. Yeah, I was really surprised to see these when they came out again, a little tear to my eye, knowing seeing Creative Labs logo again. Knowing, um, you know, they're, they're getting good reviews. I mean, you know, CNET normally is on top of stuff pretty well. And uh, I was really surprised to see these pop up. So, um, you know what, Dave, why don't we pop over to their website? Knowing what else is Creative Labs doing today? Sort of yeah, interesting. This is so this is like uh, do that. out of you there know a trip to the past. Yeah, so there's the speakers again, uh, the Pebble Xs. And then, um, if we go to their product map and just bring up computer speakers. Um, yeah, yeah, there's the yeah. plus that you were talking about. So another $30, $40 roughly, and that gets you a subwoofer. Yeah, but $129. So even in the Logitech range, that's still a really good price for those. I like yeah. the shape of them. I mean, they're they're kind of Mac S to a degree with the, with the shape on them, but I think they're really nice. I want to get a set of these and test them out and see what they sound like. The sub looks really good too. Yeah, these these look nice. Okay, and just for the hell of it, let's go to their products again. What else we got in here that's interesting? Uh, so they do curation cams. for the audio enthusiasts, which is interesting. We were looking at that earlier, but. Um, they have a sound bar too. Go back to uh, computer speakers right or here. sound bar speakers. There we go. Let's see here. There we go. Yeah, the, the oh, Katana series that actually looks pretty neat. Huh. Pretty reasonably priced. Yeah, I mean we're under three hundred dollars, you know, with the exception of the big boy here in the top corner. Um, yeah. Yeah, these wow, are they've got pretty interesting. so much now. I did not know that they had this. Yeah, this, this is sort of neat. Yeah, you know, they got a nice comparable product. I mean, this is a nice website too. I mean, it seems to be, give you all the information you need. Um, you know, they even have uh, a gaming uh, DAC for those that are, you know, looking to do some streaming and creative like on a, uh, like we are. Um, pretty See, this interesting. this is what I've always liked about their stuff. Even back in the day, they were ahead of their time on design. It looks really, really nice. Yeah, I, I'm I'm uh, I'm very happy to see this. Then, uh, wireless headphones. Uh, they even have uh, bone conducting ones. So, I mean, these are kind of the thing right now. Nothing to see. So, I mean, th these are pretty inexpensive. I mean, I don't know how they sound. It'd be interesting to find a review to see how they yeah. sound, or maybe we pick, pick up a pair of the cheap ones. And if the cheap ones sound good, then <laughs> the other ones probably sound better. Yeah, I've never I've never um, tried the bone conducting stuff. So, but that looks, and and I'm still shocked that. I guess people are still buying 
Sound Blaster cards and probably it's mainly for either I'll say music or movie industry on, on their PCs because they still have a huge listing yeah. and they're not obscene in price wise. I mean, you know, they, they're probably, you know, a lot crisper than just trying to use what's on board. You know, and then, I mean, a lot of the, the real tech stuff that you come across just, you know, on the, the main motherboard, but, uh, they've had that ZSE split. for years. Huh? Yeah. These are the, these are interesting and they, oh, I mean, they're, they're not the absurdly Autogy. priced. Yeah. Look at the Autogy, dude. That brings back memories. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> but just seeing the logo alone again brings a smile to my face. Nothing, but uh, yeah, it's well, kind of neat seeing you know, forty five dollars. I mean, yeah, yeah. how are you going to say no to some of this? Nothing. Yeah, I, I'm I'm excited, and I, I think uh, I'll probably pick up some of these computer speakers just to give them a shot. You know, they got some Bluetooth ones, some portable speakers that are kind of nice. Nothing, oh, but, go uh, to yeah, their all uh, all. go to their webcams. We were looking at those sure. earlier, and they actually have a really nice. Yeah, the Creative Project Watcher, which I think the the name is a little weird, but I like the concept of these. Yeah, these these are neat, especially for you know channels like us that might do some unboxings. Yep. Um, yeah, you can see here some storytelling things. They have some interesting, you know, two cam. There's a remote. Thing. Uh, this actually gives some very good videos. Thing for uh, folks that want to take a look at this further. But you can jump right into here's the remote they use. Yeah. So you can go picture by picture, picture, you know, in picture. Uh, you can rotate things, swap frames. They even have a couple of Zoom features for, you know, folks that are doing uh, either unboxings or, you know, trying to do some detail work. And then they're going to show in their video. But, you know, these are pretty slick. I mean, $300 for two cameras. They're 1080p. That's more but than But they're specific, for, which is really, for, really cool, which you pointed that out earlier. One's for front-facing front and the other's for object-facing. Yep. Yeah, and right it's all here. controlled via hardware. Yep. Kind of nice. No, I, I'm impressed. This is <laughs> – I'm excited to see Creative Labs pop up again. You know, uh, you know, Creative Labs, if you're listening, props. Uh, if you're really, really <laughs> yeah. listening and you want to uh, sponsor the channel and let us do some unboxings, double Tech props. Thing. But, uh, yeah, this is, uh, this is slick. Now, I'm definitely going to take a look at the computer speakers and uh, – may put my hands on some other stuff as well. Uh, so if uh, you're a Creative Labs fan or, you know, you remember the days and you're, you know, you're in our generation or even maybe slightly younger because that's not saying a lot. <laughs> now, um, give it, you know, jump in the comments. Tell us what you had. And, you know, if you were a Sound Blaster 16, you know, type of guy or girl, gal, and then, you know, hey, let us know. And we'd love to hear you. If you've bought some of this stuff, uh, we'd love to hear what your thoughts are. Quality, build, craftsmanship, and everything. And uh, was it worth the uh, the dollars? Yeah. So. I think I'll pick up a set well, as well, but these are cool. So we appreciate everybody uh, joining the channel again. Again, subscribe if you haven't already. But more importantly, throw something in the comments. Uh, if you have a little bit of uh, tears of nostalgia or you actually uh, participate and bought some of this stuff. And, uh, you know, maybe it's on us to start looking at some of the brands that uh, of yesteryear to see if they're still kicking around. Agree. <laughs> Thanks, all. Have a great day. Thanks, everybody.